Chicago Faucets has been in business since 1905 or 6. We produce faucets for the plumbing industry, mostly industrial, commercial, and educational. Um, a little bit of lab, laboratory stuff. When we first looked at the, the Makino, we, we saw a supplier with an MMC, and instantly the, the entire team kind of saw this as an opportunity for us to consolidate and become more flexible and to see a way to be set up all the time and have that dynamic machining that we've always wanted. Initially, we started with uh, two Makino A51s and uh, A61, and that was our first introduction to Makino. And then in 2007, we added another A61, and in 2010, we were able to add our first MMC. Shortly after implementation, it was clear that uh, there was a lot of things that we couldn't quantify um, that the accounting group could see. So there was return that we, we couldn't necessarily understand where it was coming from initially. And, and at this point in time, now we can look back and see what it was. It was the flexibility that we had. The second MMC was, I, th I think, significantly easier to, to implement. Uh, though we had a much bigger capital uh, investment, uh, there was experience at this time. There was a clear understanding of where the limits were, where the capabilities of the system were, and it was easier to sell the project. It was easier to get people to see that there was a, a return that that was beyond what we could put on, on black and white that we would see. And one of the advantages we get out of the MMC is we're able to have the flexibility of running 20, 30, 40 part numbers at the same time and increasing the output on one or two part numbers through priorities in the MMC. So by turning the priority up on a couple of jobs, we can crank out a lot of product through and run it aggressively through three of the machines. And we've actually seen more than three times the throughput uh, in those situations, almost as much as four times the output by just increasing the priority on some key jobs that can run in all the pieces of equipment on the cell. And at the same time, we still get those lower volume jobs, those little pieces, we're constantly filling tags. So with a large product breadth, we're able to su support all the different part numbers through the cell and focus on, on a couple of key part numbers as volume increases. With the pallet pools, just from keeping an eye on everything, just from that standpoint alone, we were able to consolidate everything into one area by having the pallet pool. Whereas before, we had, I had everything all spread out. I was literally walking probably about three or four miles a day, just walking through, checking everything. And now everything's right in one area. It's easier to watch. It's easier to maintain. You know, we have less of an area to take care of. It's great. The one pallet pool runs 24-7. The other pallet pool runs approximately anywhere from 12 to 18 hours a day. They, they just run and run. We believe that it would be a good tool. It really has proven to be, you know, way, way beyond that. It has, um, it literally has, has changed the way that we look at production, and the way that we look at um, scheduling and batch sizes and um, uh, setups, new product introduction. I mean, it really has, it really has kind of revolutionized our thinking. If you're willing to let the old uh, patterns go and step through that door, I mean, it really is a new world, and, and it is, gives you a tremendous competitive advantage versus the old processes.